This no dance celebrates new ventures. The performance is for the Okura Tokyo, a hotel that reopened in September. The revitalization of one of Japan's leading hotels attracted major attention. The Okura's general manager, Shinji Umehara, first began working at the hotel as a part-timer when he was a student. He started as a bellboy and now oversees everything. Umehara and everyone involved in the renovations focused especially on the lobby. It's a shared space that welcomes guests as well as the public. Space is perfectly designed for relaxing. An essential component is the light. These lights are the symbol of the lobby. They're affectionately known as the Okura lanterns. The finishing touches were made in December last year. Umehara checked all the details himself while talking with the artisans. The brightness of the lanterns can be finely tuned. The light is controlled depending on the situation to create the ultimate relaxation space. The lobby has also inherited an artistic legacy. The Okura opened in 1962. It was a time when Japan was achieving rapid economic growth and international exchange was flourishing. Aiming to welcome overseas guests with Japanese originality, the hotel was built with the concept of expressing Japanese culture. The symbol of this is the lobby full of traditional Japanese designs. The renovations aimed to revitalize this, centered on people's lasting impressions toward the lobby. Many of the people who loved the atmosphere of the Okura lobby admired its architecture that exemplifies Japanese modernism. For the renovations, Umehara and the others were determined to recreate the lobby. However, it wasn't easy. Many challenges had to be overcome including procuring materials that are now difficult to find and devising designs that suited modern architectural standards. There also needed to be a reproduction of the lobby's kumiko woodwork and its intricate hemp leaf pattern. Kumiko is traditional woodworking that creates patterns with pieces of wood without the use of nails. They are installed to obstruct direct sunlight. Tokinobu Sada, a fixtures artisan with 40 years of experience, was entrusted with reproducing the Kumiko. Sada has extensive experience creating Kumiko and thought he could use his usual process. However, What surprised Sada was the design for interlocking triangles. They are usually the same height as the frame. 
When he looked at the kumiko in the lobby, he realized that inner pieces were three millimeters shorter. He thinks this helps prevent direct sunlight from shining in. It took Sada two years to complete this kumiko with an unusually complicated design, measuring down to one one thousandth of a millimeter. While working, Sada realized that the shape was created to be pleasing to the eye. Because the kumiko is designed to be located in a tall place, it is formed to be looked at from below. だから見上げていきますと、この段がついてるところが非常にこう立体感が出てくるんですね。通常の考えでいくとあの雰囲気出ないんですね。あ、これがあの長くにわたってオクラのファンの人にあの見せつけてきたいうかね。あ、オクラ